Hello and welcome to the next session of interview preparatory course on top 50 SQL interview questions. Hope you are excited to solve another SQL question. So let's get started. Today's question is find duplicate values and its frequency of a column. You will be given a particular column of a table. So you need to find the values that have been duplicated. That means that have been repeated more than once and how many times that particular value has been repeated. So both the things we need to find. So let's begin. Generally you will be given a column that contains duplicate values. So here I am considering ename column which contains names of employees. If you observe employee name Trish has been repeated thrice. So the frequency of Trish employees 3, the frequency of Rishi employees 2 and the frequencies of Ford and Smith employees 1 each. So we need to display this frequency of each employee and next we need to find only the duplicated values that means only the names that have been occurred more than once so before that we need to know something about count function so the count function will count the number of rows that means number of values present in a particular column or number of rows present in an entire table so count of e name from EMP. This would fetch you value 7 because we are having 7 rows that means 7 values so output will be 7 so by making use of this count function, we can write our required query. First, select ename, comma. Free first, we will display frequency of each value from EMP. So we need to segregate the data based on ename column. That means first, all the employees of Trish employee are put on put at one place, then counted. All the employees of Rish employee, all all the details of Rish employees put at one place and then counted. So first, you need to segregate. If you don't segregate, then count function will not be applied. So group by ename, we will execute this query. See if you see the frequency of Trish is three. That means Trish has occurred three times in the column ename. Rishi has occurred two times. Smith has occurred one time. Ford has occurred one time. So this is how we can count frequencies of each value of a particular column. So select the ename comma count function from EMP segregate based on the column that you are finding. So group by ename. Now our requirement is that we need to find only duplicate values. That means we want only duplicated value that means which have occurred more than once. That means Ford and Smith have been occurred only once. That means Ford and Smith name is unique. So we need to display only Trish and Rishi. That means we need to apply filter. So whenever you are working with group by class, you cannot use where class. That's why you need to use having clause. Having count of star greater than. That means whenever the count, that means whenever the frequency is greater than 1, which is nothing but the certain value is been duplicated. So you cannot use where class whenever you have been used group by class. You, ne you need to use having class. So now you can find duplicate values along with frequency. Trish has occurred three times. Rishi has occurred two times. So values that are that have uh, repeated only for one time are not considered as duplicate values. That means they are having count as one and they have been filtered using this having class. Sometimes they might not ask count but it is uh, good to display count also. So you can display only excluding this count also. No problem but for our understanding for better understanding I am displaying this count function. And sometimes they may ask you to uh, arrange the data based on increasing order of frequency. That means first anyway we are displaying frequency of each value. But they might ask you display the frequency of value in increasing order. For this purpose just use order by class order by count of star. So if you uh, use this order by class what happens is that based on the ascending order of descending order of this count column the data is displayed. This is how it works. In any dimension, he, he may ask you the question. The only thing that you should know is that first you need to know about count function and next apply group by function on the required column and filter the data using having class upon this count function. This is how it works. If you have enjoyed the session and it is really helpful to you, don't forget to like the video. Also do share your questions with us in the comment section. Let's solve them together and help other geeks as well. Thanks for watching.